How many of you in here did something yesterday to make you a better person today? You don't have to put your hand up if you don't want to, but it's just something for you to think about. With that question, let me follow that one up. How many of you did something today to make yourself better tomorrow? Just think about that. I see a hand or two or three. That's good. That's good. Now, let's bring that on home. Everybody in here is an athlete. So, let's make this athlete specific. How many of you did something yesterday to make you a better athlete today? How many of you woke up a better athlete this morning? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now more hands are coming up. How many of you have done something today or you are going to do something today to make yourself a better athlete tomorrow? Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Everybody's forward thinking. That being the case, here's a little quick scenario. You can't win tomorrow's track meet with yesterday's frame of mind. You can't go into tomorrow's track meet expecting to win being the person that you were yesterday. With those in mind, I want you to repeat after me. I see this. Okay, maybe you didn't hear that. Let's try that again. I see this. I feel this. I got this. Now we're going to put some hand motion into it to do what I do. I see this. I feel this. I, feel this. I, got this. I got this. There you go. That's the mentality you have to have. Now let's break that down. See, feel, and have. You got to have this to get this. So we're going to say have. Now to see this, there's a difference in looking and seeing. When you look at something, you are using these two things right here. Your physical eyes. I'm looking at you all, look at me. Now, when you see something, you use your mind's eye. We think in pictures, so that's how we see things. You see things with your mind. If you were to close your eyes, you don't even have to close your eyes. If I tell you to think about the last track meet that you were in, a picture of that is going to come up in your head, right? You see what happened at the last track meet. That's you seeing. You're not looking at it. You're looking at what's tangible in front of you when you look. You look at your eyes. But when you see this and you say, I see this, you're using your mind's eye. I couldn't be a mental performance coach if I didn't see myself doing that. Even coming here today, before speaking to you, I had to see myself standing right here speaking to you. I had to see that first. So in order for you to make those goals, in order for you to have better focus, in order for you to overcome the adversity that you all know very well happens in track and cross country, you see those adversities all the time. Coach talk to, talks to you about that. You see it in film, even if you YouTube something, you YouTube track meets and you see people having problems in the uh, cross country. The heels, killers, killing the thighs, legs, burning, sweat, all that adversity. You see that. But to see yourself overcoming that, you have to use your mind and see yourself in that picture. Pull whoever is in that picture out. Put yourself in that, posi in that position. Now in let's go picture. to the next one. I feel this. I feel this. When you feel it, you're creating an emotion. You're creating energy. And all this is happening inside you. It's happening within you. You see that within your mind. You create that feeling, that energy, that emotion. That's what's going to cause things to happen and become real. Once you start to feel that, you're bringing that energy. You're feeling yourself in that situation. When you sit there and watch, let's say you put up a YouTube video and somebody's running. How y'all do it like this or whatever, I don't know. Or even when you're running and you're running up a hill, 
your legs are tired, you're starting to cramp. You see that on that person's face, but you can relate to what they're going through because you feel that, you felt it before. So you're literally, in your mind, putting yourself in that person's place. And you are actually going through the motions and the emotions of whatever they're going through. The adversity so all I'm doing is making that mental preparation. I'm preparing myself because I see it and I feel it. Now let's take that one step further and say, I got this. Once you see that in it, once you see it in your mind and you have that energy you've built up, you start to feel it. Sometimes when you see something happen, you get goosebumps. Yeah, that's you feeling it. You feeling what's going on. You feel that energy. Sometimes you see something you don't want to see. You see somebody running or trying to jump hurdles. They don't jump high enough. That foot didn't clear that hurdle and they fall. Next thing you know, they leaving skin on the doggone floor. You felt that and you're going, ooh, because you know what that's like. You felt that. You saw it and you felt that. You became emotionally tied to that. So when you have your goals that you want to set, you need to see those goals, feel those goals, and become emotionally attached to them. Because when you become emotionally attached to them, they become a part of you. They're inside of you. The feeling of that goal is inside of you. It's in your mind. Now, when you get to the point and say, I got this, everything that's inside, you are starting to bring that out. You are starting to manifest that. Let me give you another scenario. Let's say there's a young lady. Let's give her a fictitious name. Let's call her Miss Hilliard Darby. Now, a lady by the name of Hilliard Darby, just your average lady, no problem. Now, let's say Miss Hilliard Darby is pregnant. Miss Hilliard Darby is still existing as a lady. Now, the minute Miss Hilliard Darby gives birth to her child, she exists as something else. She became a mother. Here's the scenario. What was inside of her came out of her and she became something else. She became a mother. So you take everything that you see and that you feel, all that's inside of you, it's building up. You take that with you to the track meet. You apply that to yourself. It's in you. The minute you take off and you start running, everything that's in you, bring that out of you. Because when you start running as a track runner, you are existing as an athlete among hundreds of other athletes out there. You're blending in just as an athlete. So how do you stand out? Whatever's inside of you, you bring that out. And when you give birth to whatever that feeling is or that vision that you saw, you put forth that effort and that strength and that gumption, you dig deep and you pull all that out, you no longer exist as an athlete. You exist as a champion because you made it that far. You pulled out what was inside of you and you reached that, you took it to that next level. The other athletes that didn't see it and didn't feel it, they're still an athlete. They're not an athletic champion. They don't have that ribbon around their neck. They don't have that medal. They don't have that trophy. They don't have that banner. Why? Because they didn't see it. They didn't feel it. They didn't have it to say that they got it. So that's my message to you. See it, feel it, then you can have it and say, I got this. So now that you understand that, repeat after me. I see this. I see this. I feel this. I feel this. I got this.